Hey guys, Bearded Beast of Duloc here. The topic of this video is workouts and specifically um, how to handle workouts that are listed on forums and that sort of thing. If you spend any time on lifting forums, you see a ton of these types of threads a day. They go something like this. Dear interwebs, this is my workout. Please tell me what you think. Now, when you look at these workouts, you can tell they're well thought out. They have a, you know, a good, they have a split, you know, Monday I do this, Tuesday I do this, Wednesday I do this. They usually have an exercise list per day, and some of them even have a set and rep scheme, you know, like three sets by eight or five by five. So, <clears throat> when you uh, when you look at these workouts, you can tell somebody put a lot of effort into trying to piece together something that looked reasonably intelligent and effective. Now, here's where the problem comes in. When you look at a workout system and it doesn't include a progressional scheme, you have to, it's, it's missing like the engine that drives the, uh, the workout itself. A workout on paper is just a list of exercises if it doesn't have a rock solid progressional scheme or approach behind it, um, you're, you're not going to get the person posting it isn't going to get the gains they want or their gains are going to slow. So, because of this, when I see these types of posts on, on forums, the first thing I ask is, What is your progression scheme? And if the individual doesn't know, then I can help them. And I want to encourage you. Um, you know, if you're on any lifting forums or you're helping people with their workouts, if you see these lists of splits and exercises and whatnot, you know, the first thing I want you to ask them is, what is your progression scheme? Because uh, <clears throat> if they don't know, you can get them on track. Um, nine times out of ten, they're going to come back and not have a clue. And guys, if this is you <clears throat> posting a workout, excuse me, it's a little bit late and my throat is dry. Posting a workout, I don't, want, I don't want you to feel bad about not having a progression scheme because it's just not something that's generally on people's radar. You know, they think of workouts as exercises and sets and reps. But you could, the reason why I want to encourage people to ask questions about progression is because while a workout can look good on paper, a lifter can wa wander off to the gym and perform this workout, you know, for months on end without a real concrete understanding of what progressive overload is and how to work it to maximize gains. If you just go into the gym and you're doing sets and reps and you're not maximizing progressive overload or getting stronger over time, your gains are going to slow, diminish, or even, uh, you know, be very minimal. So, guys... When you see workouts on forums, um, <clears throat> you know, ask about progressive overload and see how the person, um, you know, is intending to progress or add weight to the bar. A simple tip before this video is over is the bearded beast of Dulox method of progressive overload. I call it the, uh, the rep goal system, the rep goal system. Basically, I work every set for as many reps as possible. Stopping that set when I feel like I might fail on the next rep or when I feel like I, uh, my form is really, really going to heck. That's how I maximize every set. And I, I, uh, I usually set a, a goal for each set of, uh, say, 12 or 10 or 8 reps or whatever you're doing for that exercise. And when you hit that rep goal, then you would add weight the next time in the gym. So that's a way of using progressive overload without training to failure and without training with bad form. So guys, the next time you see a list of sets and exercises and, and uh, workout splits online, you know, um, make sure you, uh, you ask this person about progression. Because if they walk away without an understanding of progressive overload, they could walk away and spend months um, wasting their time in the gym. So guys, if this has been a help, please share, uh, share it on your Facebook page or on your favorite website or Twitter or Tumblr or Pinterest. If you have any questions or comments, guys, leave them below. If you have any video suggestions for me, please leave them below, guys. And as always... 
Please subscribe to the Bearded Beast of Duloc, kids. The Bearded Beast of Duloc, who maximizes every single set, kids. Have a good night, guys.